If you give a moose a muffin by Laura Numeroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you give a moose a muffin, he'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. And when he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another and another and another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make some more. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix and he'll want to go with you. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. When he puts the sweater on, he'll notice that one of the buttons is loose and he'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. So he'll ask for some old socks and he'll make some sock puppets. When they're all done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and paints. Then he'll ask you to help make the scenery. When the scenery is finished, he'll go behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him the sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember that he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, boo. It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over all the paints so he'll use the sheet to clean it up. When he asks for some soap to wash it out, he'll probably want to hang the sheet out to dry. He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him some jam, He'll want a muffin to go with it.